I'm John, and tonight I want answers about being gay. There's no stopping us now, cause we're live. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers. Give John, answers. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers now. Check your calendar. If it says July 12th, 2012, then we're live. My guest tonight is Armando Sarabia. Did I say that right? It's Sarabia. Sarabia? Sarabia. Sarabia. Roll the R. Hmm? Roll the R. Sar Sarabia. <laughs> okay. Just say it the way you did. You might remember <laughs> Armando from the time I got a haircut on the show in July. He's my hairdresser, although I haven't seen him for a long time, so you can't blame him for this. I didn't do this haircut. This is super cuts, then oh. two months of growth. <laughs> so don't blame him for how it looked tonight. If you've never seen the show before, and chances are you have it. This show is like a courtroom drama. I'm the prosecutor, my guest is the expert witness, and you at home are the jury. And it's your job to convict or acquit the topic. We'll be taking your tweets. So you can tweet us during the show at John Wants Answer. There's no S on the end, because in Twitter, if your Twitter ends in an S, it means suck. So we don't suck. So there's no S on the end. So you can send us your questions about today's topic, and we will discuss them and answer them for you. And if you're the first one to tweet in asking for a promotional photo, I will sign this and send it to you. Two viewer, love John. Something like that. You can find us on the internet at johnwantsanswers.com. So go there to see our previous episodes and photos of our guests and trivia, etc. This show could not be made possible without the continued support from our executive producers. Now, one of our executive producers warned me, saying she's not supporting the show anymore if I say her name wrong. So her name is Lisa Tamaki. Um, and also, we have Brian Westbefall. And he did not complain about me saying his name wrong. All right, let's get started. Our first topic, being gay. All right, I have a disclaimer to start the show with. I'll be asking some questions, which may sound offensive or ignorant. The reason I'm doing this is so my guest, the expert witness, can dispel the myths behind the question. So I might say, like, why did you choose to be gay? And you might think, oh, why would you ask that? It's not a choice. That's why I ask those questions. So, Armando, why did you choose to be gay? <laughs> well, I don't know. It wasn't really a choice for me. Not at all. Really? Yeah, why would you ask that if you just disclaimed <laughs> that? So you can dispel the myth. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So you see what I mean? Yeah, I really didn't choose it. Oh. I just am. So tell me about the process of how you realized you were gay. Oh, the process of that. Did it happen um, when you were like really young or did it teenager? I was in my teens, uh -huh. had plenty of girlfriends. One day a girlfriend came over late at night mm -hmm. and um, I realized then that I wasn't into her so much anymore. Okay. So, <laughs> so before you realized you were gay, you I sort of already knew I was gay. You, okay. But I still dated girls. So were you dating girls f for a while before you knew you were gay? For a while before I knew. Mm. I'm trying to think if you, if you always kind of knew you were gay Probably, or you weren't sure. No, I always knew I was gay. From from a very young age. Yes, like, I was always attracted to men. Oh. I just didn't know I wasn't supposed to be, supposedly. Okay. Right. So you, you dated girls because society kind of told because you? Because society said so. Society sort of guided me in that direction. Right. And so right. You, you didn't realize there were other, you know, ways to go, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I, had a, I had a good friend in uh, elementary school and in, in you know, junior high. Um, and it turned out later, I found out when I went back you know, to visit from college that he, he said he was gay. 
and we were all surprised because you know he had girlfriends too growing up and so we asked him hey how, co how could you be gay we knew you had girlfriends and the story was like as you said like society trains you that this is what you should be doing and so he didn't realize I'm not sure when he realized he was gay but you know that's how it chances how it are he knew early on as well so you would you say you were in your teens or you were like 10 years old? Can you? I was probably. <laughs> I hate to press you for a <laughs> point in time. I, was, I, I remember back when I was like eight years old being attracted yeah. to men. Yeah. Or guys, I should say, at right. the time. I remember when I was uh, young, um, girls had cooties. <laughs> um, it was like a virus. If you touched a girl, you would get her cooties. And all girls had the cooties, and the guys, you know, didn't want the cooties. I remember the cooties quite yeah. well, yeah. Um, and then there was a time when girls stopped having cooties. How, how old were you when that happened? Um, it was weird. Like, when I was, like, kindergarten, I kind of had a crush on a girl. You know, so I liked, I liked the girl. But, you know, all the other guys treated girls as they, like they had cooties. So to conform to society, my peers, I had to act like girls had cooties, too. Secret crush? <laughs> It wasn't that secret. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when did you have your first gay relationship? So you had girlfriends, and then you realized at one point that wasn't for you. Right. When was your first gay relationship? Relationship or when I first went out with a guy? Let's, let's say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the night that I threw her out of my apartment for coming over late, or house when she came uh -huh. over late, um, the very next day, I went out with the guy. Okay. So how old, are, how old were you when that happened? I was 17. 17? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you were still in high school? At still that in high school. Still living with my parents at home. Okay. How did you know that he was gay? How did I know he was gay? Yeah. Everybody knew he was gay back okay. then. He, was, <laughs> he came from a very comfortable family of the open gay thing. So, uh -huh. yeah. But at that point, no one knew you were gay? Um, no. No. Maybe, well, the jocks in high school. Oh, so people, so were you out already at that point? Or? Uh, no, I wasn't out, but I was always called gay and oh. gay slurs. And so. Well, how did they think you were gay? Was it your mannerisms or something like that? I don't know. Some, some <laughs> might think your mannerisms are a little gay. <laughs> I, if, if they saw the dance in the beginning. Well, to be honest, when I was uh, growing up, I had a speech impediment. Okay. So up, up until like grade 11, I had a speech impediment where I would, I had a lisp. So I was teased for being gay, you know, from a very young age to like, you know, high school. So, yeah, we were in the same, <laughs> yeah. same boat. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what's it? What's it like to be gay but in a straight relationship? I didn't really think about it so much. When I was with her, I was with her, and uh -huh. it didn't really, I didn't really think about it. I was always still attracted to men uh -huh. and still attracted to guys, and they were typically not guys my age. They were a little bit older mm -hmm. because the guys my age I thought were all jerks in high school. Yeah. So. so how did you become uh, in a relationship with a woman if you weren't attracted to them? Like, did they, like... Have a crush on you. I'm still attracted to women today. Can you explain that? <laughs> well, I'm attracted to beautiful things. And uh -huh. so I find beauty in a lot of things. Right. But you wouldn't have... I wouldn't have a relationship with a woman today. Okay, no. okay. So physically you can appreciate... Breathe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I could appreciate it. Yes, I could appreciate a beautiful woman. And, and I'm still attracted to women. So I've known in my life... Um, I would say three or four gay people besides you, you know, growing up. <laughs> and in all the cases, uh, they had relationships with women before they had relationships with, with men. Uh, for various reasons, I guess. Maybe um, society said they should, you know, be dating women. Right. Um, I knew one man who married a woman. Well, I know two men who married women. Uh, one of the men uh, fathered children with a, with a woman. Um, so is that, is that common? I think it's very common for gay men to be in a relationship that 
they don't know how to get out of sometimes right. mm -hmm. because society says so or because their family says so or right or whatever their belief is or sometimes their job or it could be anything really i mean any any kind of pressure so if um personally if i the, the thought of me being in a relationship with a man i find very unpleasant okay um <laughs> and and you know the thought of you know so <gasps> I, I could never, you know, do that. So I'm wondering, um, how is it different for, you know, gay men a often have relationships with women, even though they're gay? Like, do they find it as unpleasant as I do? I mean, I don't know how I can answer that. Chances are not, no. They probably have the, they had the same feelings that I had when I was younger. Like, mm -hmm. dating girls or being with their wife or their spouse or girlfriend or whatever. Making families. Mm -hmm and still being attracted to men. I know a lot of um, <laughs> married men that are gay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't name married name. men that are not married to another man, but to a woman that are gay. Don't name names on the I'm show I'm not tonight. going to, absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> I have a rep to protect as well. Okay, um, so you went out on a date with this guy, but you weren't quite out yet. This is, you know, I right. kick other girl. Yes. When would you say you started coming out? Mm. Well, I came out at about age 18, going on 19 somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, I was forced out. You're, how were you forced out? Was one of your people you were dating? One of my before? best friends told my parents to keep my parents from telling his parents that he was gay. Oh. Was it a, <laughs> was it a faux pas? Like, did he mistakenly out you? Uh, think yeah, he, I think he yeah. did it. I think he did, was pressured. He felt that my parents were going to say something to his uh, parents, and so he was like, he threw me under the bus. Yeah, okay, okay. How did your, your parents take it? Were they um, surprised? Surprised at uh -huh. first, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, my mom was always supportive. Mm -hmm. My father still wishes that I was married with children and had a wife or uh -huh. two wives, for that matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but even though he, he wishes that, does he accept? He totally accepts, accepts it, you yeah, are. completely. Um, so then after that, you had to come out to your friends, I guess, or people you knew? Yeah, at that time, I was kind of positioning myself at a new high school with a bunch of new friends. And mm -hmm. they Did were, you switch high schools? I did switch high schools. Because you were coming out or other reasons? Um, because of the bullying, okay. mostly. Uh -huh. um, I didn't feel comfortable there anymore, and so I made my mom switch me schools, and she did. Okay. And so I switched schools to a school that I knew a lot of gay people at, that, that we all hung out. We all hung out at the beauty school, by the way. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> so, so yeah, so I switched schools so that I'd be more comfortable. Okay. Um, did you have any friends who, when they learned you were gay, uh, tried to distance themselves from you? Um, there was a few. Um, there were some that were told that they couldn't be my friend anymore by their parents. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Did, so like childhood friends growing up uh, up until age 16 17 what were the parents scared of <laughs> that if you drank the water too it could happen to you yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right um we're going to stop now for a break when we come back we're going to read your tweets and we're going to talk more with armando about his life experiences so we'll see you soon Okay, we're clear now. Okay. How are we doing so far? Good. Fine. We're, uh, we're, we're somewhere just past here. here. Was everyone supportive? I think we, are we past that? Or do yeah, you have more to say on like that? like past that. You sort of skipped over that. Did some people pull us over away? The support thing, you really didn't. Oh, should we talk more about that? Maybe support and then family reaction. Mm -hmm. But you scratch that. Okay, unless you have any tweets yet. Oh, wow. I'm, we're filling up here of tweets. Okay. Uh, where do we start? Okay. It's the beginning of a new <laughs> edgier. <laughs> <We're> edgy. <laughs> uh, who's that bitter guy with the crowd? Shirt gang. Oh, I need a new shirt. Uh, he said, ah, ah, that's a good question. Okay. Um, <laughs> God, my first time watching this. You got <laughs> oh, oh right, we got headshot. All oh, right, Woo from a gay. 
I don't know he's not gay. Is he? Am I gay? If he no, he's not gay. Trump. Oh, if I know he him. Wants to have Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying people I know are not gay. I'm just saying I know him not to be gay. Oh, great. Big lungs. Can I get? Great. All right. I think there are six gay people at dinner this last Monday. Really? And you only know four. Wait. <laughs> I know. I know that one is gay. <laughs> Wait. No, that's not true. Because that. He has a tendency to lie, John. Yes. Okay. Um, do we need to do a PSA? Like, public service announcement on behalf of gay people? <laughs> no pressure. No. no pressure. Be nice to gay people. Yeah. They're it just like us. It's better than this show. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> so confused right now. In five, four, three, two. And we're back. And we're going to take your tweets. So we have a whole bunch of tweets today. This is an exciting show because we have tweets. There's many episodes, if you watch, that we don't have good tweets. Today we have great tweets. See, the gay bring good things. I know. Scott Canaster asks, is this the beginning of a new edgier John Wants answers? I'd like to say yes, but I imagine next month's topic will be not edgy at all. <laughs> <laughs> who is that bitter guy who warned up the crowd? That's Keith Statenfield. He's bummed out that he's not my guest tonight. And so he's floor director tonight. So he, he's unhappy. Not bitter. Relieved. Oh, he says relieved. I'm being told he said relieved. Uh, I like this. I like this. Oh, shirt's getting a little faded. Time to get a new one. OK, you can get your own John Wants Answers shirt. Go to JohnWantsAnswers.com, and you can get your own shirt. You said drama. Like an American. Why? <laughs> so in Canada, we say drama instead of drama. And we say taco instead of taco. And we say tamaki instead of tamaki, which is why I've been saying that nice lady's name wrong for so long. <laughs> it's a Canadian thing. It's my Canadian accent. Don't make fun of me. So Joe, I spent 10 days with Joe in a van. And he said, my god. My first time watching this. You guys are hilarious. If I ask for a headshot, am I gay? No, right? Can you explain a little bit about 10 days in a van with Joe? <laughs> I think there's something missing here. OK, Joe is a photographer. And so I saw his work on the internet. And I liked it a lot. And it turns out we both went on this trip to Iceland to take pictures of Iceland. I didn't know he was the Joe whose photography I liked when I was on the trip. So I spent 10 days with him in a van, and we took pictures of Iceland. When I got I, home, I realized he's the guy whose pictures I liked. And now he I've been in a van with photographers before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so asking for headshots does not make him gay, correct? OK. Um, uh, well, it depends on which kind of headshot you're looking for. <laughs> Autographed. Ah, OK. Maybe not. OK. Um, Scott Canaster asks, great mugs. How can I get one? Go to johnwantsanswers.com, <laughs> and you can get mugs too, and shirts and sweatshirts. Uh, I can't believe I'm watching this. I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if those at home are the jury, who are the studio audience? And the crew. So when I say you at home are the jury, I also mean the studio audience. Um, the crew are like the court bailiffs and like the court reporter um, and the guards and that kind of thing. So they don't actually vote for Is the verdict. Is anybody in shackles here? Um, uh, pause it. No. The, okay. No. <laughs> the accused is not appearing in this court. Ah, it's a, okay. It might be a problem. Why did Armando chair dance with you at the opening? I was trying to figure something Remember out. Remember at the opening I was doing this? <laughs> yeah. And you were trying to have no part of that? Yeah, no. I recall that. Can someone who's gay turn straight? Well, we're going to get to this later. But 
since we're here, can someone who's gay turn straight? Um, I don't know that answer, actually. Oh. I can't help you with that. Okay. That's, some, but that's something for somebody who decided to turn their lifestyle around to okay. answer. You need a haircut, someone says to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I, it's been established. <laughs> um, see, my, my theory is if I, can, if I can't see my hair, my, then it's not lo too long yet. That's how I... That's usually when I get a call. Okay. Those are our tweets. We had some good ones. And, yeah. <laughs> so, getting back to being gay. Are you? Don't, don't Cause I'm always gay. <laughs> Was everyone supportive of you being gay? Yeah, everybody's always been supportive of me being gay. So your the friends the whose parents instructed them not to be your friend. So they I lost, were you know, not I, supportive against the I lost a few. Yeah, you lost but that few. didn't mean, that didn't matter to me. Okay. Like I just moved forward, you know. They right. all wish they hung out with me these days. Yeah. And you made lot lots of new friends after that, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, how did your family react? So they were shocked, you're saying. <laughs> um, father was shocked. Mm -hmm. Mother was supportive. Sisters were excited, I think. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> they had someone to do their hair and <laughs> talk about fashion. I was always cutting their hair, even at a younger okay. age, though. So even before I became gay. Why, why do you say cutting their hair? Are you saying all hairdressers are gay? Um, it seems to be a stereotype <laughs> that male hairdressers often are gay. It's a stereotype. Would you say it's... A, a good assumption? Would you say that's a totally false stereotype to have? Um, I think it's a false stereotype to have. Yeah? Yeah. I think there's plenty of talented straight men cutting hair. Okay. <laughs> Are there any professions you think... Um, oh, yeah. Barbers. Some, like, wait. Like barbers. Are okay. barbers gay to you? No. But I, wait, I, why, why not? Well, I think of a hairstylist and a barber... Different. I, I think of a barber as like an older man with gray hair who, <laughs> maybe when I was growing up. Maybe you're bald or balding and grain. I think of like older, older men being barbers. Maybe because when I was growing up, the barber was an older man. I don't know. I had a crush on my barber when I was a kid. Yeah. Huh. Is that why you want to be a hairdresser? Do you think? No. no? I think that's why I kind of like bears these days. Tell us, what is a bear? <laughs> a bear is a grizzly type looking gay man. Facial hair, scruffy mm -hmm. look, kind of on the heavier, not too heavy side sometimes. There was an episode of My Life on the D-List with Kathy Griffin. Mm -hmm. And Kathy <laughs> I, Griffin I saw that, yes. was dating Steve Wozniak. <laughs> and would you, in this situation, where she brought him to a gay convention or something. I don't know. Uh, would you call him a bear if he, if he was gay? Can you picture Steve Wozniak in your mind? Yeah. Um, could be. Could be. In the right surrounding. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if surrounded by cubs, yes. Cubs. Tell me about cubs. What are cubs? Shorter versions of bears. Shorter versions. <laughs> Shorter. Younger. Short, you know. Okay, um, San Francisco, commonly known as a popular destination or place to live for gays. Right. Why are so many people in San Francisco gay? Well, that started with our military. When they started after like World War II, mm -hmm. uh, um, pulling the gays out of the military, a lot of them were um, pushed out of the military in San Francisco. And oh, so okay. that's why San Francisco became a big gay community. So they landed in San Francisco. <laughs> landed, yes. <laughs> landed. Well, I assume there was a boat because of the military yes. base. Okay. Right. Um, and so they all grew, grew roots in San Francisco. And sort then of. the community right. kind of grew up from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and does San Francisco uh, attract gays from around the world because it's known as a place where gays are accepted? Where gays are accepted, where they can be themselves and mm -hmm. be open, right? Not ridiculed, mm -hmm. not bullied. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. What about San Francisco makes people gay? 
I'm going back to this disclaimer of I ask questions <laughs> that I know make no sense. San Francisco doesn't make people gay. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what should we call gay people? Like I've been calling them gay people, you know. Well, my name is Armando, so you should get to know them and then call them by their name. Right. You shouldn't, so you shouldn't say, hey, gay. That's not cool. <laughs> So an individual person, if I know them, of course I'd call them by the first name. Right. But if you want to talk about a population of people who are gay. Then, yes, you could call them gay, like mm -hmm. in a group of people if right. you're... Like some, there's some gay people over there. <laughs> How do you know they're gay? Maybe they're in a gay bar, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. missing the point. Like, if I want to be politically correct, you can call, call them. like I'm going to a gay bar, you could uh -huh. say. Okay. Yes, where there might be gay people. Uh -huh. But there also might be some straight people hanging out there, right. too. Um, <laughs> why do female gays have their own word, like lesbian, uh, but gay men don't have their own word? Is that, is that true? <laughs> I, I don't know if I could answer that. Without getting in trouble, I have a. Oh, is there like? Slang? I have a lesbian sister. Is there slang words? The, no. What do you mean? Well, you say you can't answer that. So I mean, are there names for gay men, but they're slang? I think slang, no. So I think um, they needed some sort of separation. Okay. From and and their own word from being called gay. Okay. Um. Because often organizations are called you know the gay and lesbian community. Correct. So even though. Lesbians are gay. We have to repeat it again for them. Yes. Gay and lesbian. So they get counted twice. Yes. <laughs> Although there are some lesbians that like to be called gay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So. Yeah, still gay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's, okay. there's words that we shouldn't use. Absolutely. Now, there's a clinical word, homosexual, right. which is a fine word to use, right? It's okay, yes. Uh, the abbreviation of that is homo. Now, is that, is that a word I should avoid? Is that a... Bad yeah, word? you shouldn't run around calling people homo. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't. Well, you shouldn't run around calling them homosexuals either, I guess, but, you know. Well, you definitely shouldn't call people homo. Okay. You might want to say he, like, you, you don't want to run down and say, hey, homosexual either. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, you should walk up to, your, to them. <laughs> I'm being punished for using that word. Yeah. Okay, we're out of time. Um, so thanks so much for being on the show. Uh, well, thank you. We learned a lot. I learned a lot. Um, and our next show is on August 9th. So I hope to see you again then. Thanks a lot. Good thank show. You. High five.